Fred Film Radio or from the 80 International Film Art Exhibition in Venice. I'm Laura de la Corte, and today we are here with the director of the Tatami in Section Horizonte, Guy Nativ, and Zara Mir. How are you today? Hmm. Good. Good. Okay, well, nice. So, you know, Tatami is a groundbreaking collaboration between an Israeli and an Iranian director, so with a you know, sensitive and powerful subject like the one in Tatami. So how come that you are able to work together? I will, you know, long story short for us. Wow. <laughs> and uh, I started, everything started for me uh, by um, getting this off offer from a guy to play uh, the coach, Mariam, and then uh, I got the second offer to be the casting director. <laughs> and then uh, Guy just uh, offered me this collaboration, and that was really, really nice. And uh, I, I think it's a unique collaboration. And yeah, it took time, because it's about Israeli-Iranian project. And then we, we know all that we have to just answer m many questions about this political aspect of it. But in the end, for me, it's a very unique project, beautiful idea, and uh, it's an untold story, and uh, beautiful, just daring, just courageous, and I like it. So yeah. I said, yes. Yeah, Let's indeed. Yeah. So, and Gainativ, you mentioned being inspired of stories, you know, of Ryan. Uh, you are inspired by real stories, by real yeah. Stories. Um, Iranian athletes like uh, Sadaf Kadem and Kimi Alizad, right? So, what it is about these stories that motivated actually to, you know, to put that in in your movie, maybe? Well, I think there there were um, specific stories that that inspired me of Iranian women who were bold and um, you know did the impossible, you know, which is a rebellious act uh, for freedom. And that was before the Masa Amini, um, you know, the whole yeah. incident and the yeah. whole thing that sparked a whole revolution, you know, a movement. And, and I, was, I was really inspired by that because there were Israelis and Iranians meeting in those competition and they formed friendship, you know, behind the regime, um, in, in behind the scenes. So, I'm not Iranian, obviously, and I wanted an Iranian um, um, collaboration with uh, a powerful, um, talented, uh, um, artistic fem female women in Iran, and then that's why I invited uh, Zar and Ilham and and other people to to collaborate with me, and I think it's a it's a unique opportunity for us to do something that is um, significant on many, many levels, you know? So that's yeah. that's how I was inspired by everything. And did you have to shot your secrecy in Tbilisi, Georgia, and how it was for you? You know, it was challenging. That was, I don't know, you, did you have problem hiding this thing? You mean uh, in terms of security? Yeah. yeah. No, we didn't have, but we, we were like careful. We tried to stay low profile and yeah. just as we see in this studio, we were just in this wee club between all us together. No, the challenge was we, yeah. ha we had a short time to shoot the movie, yes. and all those fight scenes are really challenging, and uh, the dramaturgy of you know the whole story in that like small time uh, was for me the m m challenge, not even security. Not More uh, than, okay. But we did, we did keep it under the radar. So okay. nobody knew about this project. We didn't announce it. We called it in a different name. Um, we were in hotels, you know, because there are a lot of Iranians and Israelis in Tbilisi, and it's kind of like two hours away from Iran, yeah. two hours away from Israel. So we kept, kept it really like uh, under the radar. Yeah, and like you mentioned, the the scenes of the fighting, I was you know curious about the fact. How did you have, were able to do uh, to shot the scene like from the bottom, from the floor, and higher up above? I mean, what did you use? What was the technical <laughs> stuff that? Um, it's interesting. Um, I think that we try to. It's almost like a dance, right? So yeah. we choreographed everything. Together with the camera, together together with everything, we choreographed um, 
these specific scenes and, um, you know, Ariane uh, Mendy, who's uh, the judoka, playing the judoka, playing uh, Leila, she practiced in advance with a coach, with a judo coach in Los Angeles, and she came already, you know, ready to fight. And all the other fighters, by the way, they are real judokas. So we brought real judokas, Whoa. and we had uh, a coach um, on that, that choreographed the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, you know, Ari was really prepared. I, I, unfortunately, she's not here. Yeah. But she, I, she carried this movie from zero. Yeah, I mean, sh she's Physically. fabulous and mentally, and she's a fabulous actress and a hard worker. And yeah, she was really prepared. I think we never lost time because of never. her. Never. Never. She even got injured in while doing this, and she kept going and kept going. Oh, she really? said, "I'm not, I'm not wow. quitting." But we choreographed everything. It's basically like a dance. Yeah, yeah. She, she was amazing, actually. So, yeah, yeah. thank you so much for thank being with you. us. Thank you to Gainat and Zaramir, directors of Tatami in the section Horizonte. This is Laura de la Corte for Fred the Festival Insider. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you.